The dragon roars China's economic rise. China, it's big, it's bold, and it's buying up the world one iPhone at a time. From the bustling markets to the high-tech stores, the Chinese consumer is a force to be reckoned with. Okay, maybe not literally, but China's economic rise is the biggest story of the 21st century. The headlines are filled with China's financial triumphs and the stock markets are buzzing with activity. They've gone from communist backwater to capitalist powerhouse faster than you can say made in China. The transformation is nothing short of miraculous, with cities like Shanghai evolving into global metropolises. Remember when made in China meant cheap knockoffs? Those days are a distant memory. Yeah, those days are gone. Today, China is synonymous with cutting-edge manufacturing and technological innovation. China's now a manufacturing giant, churning out everything from smartphones to solar panels. Their factories are state of the art, and their production capabilities are unmatched. They're also the world's second largest economy and on track to overtake the US soon. The GDP growth charts tell a story of relentless progress and ambition. This isn't just about cheap labor anymore, it's about innovation, research and development. Chinese universities and research labs are at the forefront of technological advancements. China's investing heavily in education, technology and infrastructure. From high-speed rail networks to tech expos, the focus is on building a future-ready nation. They're playing the long game, and they're winning. Strategic planning and visionary leadership are driving China's success. So, what does this mean for America? The implications are profound, affecting everything from trade policies to job markets. Buckle up, folks, because the dragon is breathing fire. The rise of China is reshaping the global landscape, and the world is watching with bated breath. Face off, US versus China in the global ring. The stakes have never been higher as these two economic giants clash on the global stage. It's the ultimate economic showdown, the US versus China. Both nations are vying for supremacy, each bringing their unique strengths and strategies to the table. Think Rocky Balboa vs Ivan Drago, but with less sweaty hugging and more trade wars. This isn't just about tariffs and trade deficits. It's a battle for technological dominance and global influence. For decades, America was the undisputed champion of the global economy. Our financial markets were the envy of the world, and our innovations set the pace for global progress. We were the land of innovation, opportunity, and really big sodas. From the tech giants of Silicon Valley to the bustling streets of New York, America symbolized the pinnacle of economic success. But China's been training hard. Over the past few decades, they've transformed from a manufacturing powerhouse to a leader in high-tech industries. They're now major players in everything from artificial intelligence to renewable energy. Their advancements in these fields are not just impressive, they're game-changing. They're also using their economic clout to forge new partnerships around the world. By investing in infrastructure projects and forming strategic alliances, China is expanding its influence far beyond its borders. This new rivalry is creating tension. The global markets are feeling the strain and businesses are caught in the crossfire. Trade wars, tech battles, accusations of unfair practices. It's getting messy. Are you enjoying the video? If yes, please subscribe, like and share our videos for more updated and exciting content. Let's continue. The competition is fierce and the stakes are incredibly high. And let's be honest, America is not used to playing second fiddle. The idea of another nation challenging our economic dominance is a tough pill to swallow. But here's the thing. Ignoring China's rise isn't an option. Their growth is reshaping the global economic landscape and we need to acknowledge and adapt to this new reality. We need to adapt, compete, and maybe even learn a thing or two from our new economic rivals. Collaboration and competition can coexist, and by embracing this dynamic, we can find new pathways to mutual success. The great wall of business challenges for American companies doing business in China is like navigating a maze designed by a mischievous panda. It's cute, it's confusing, and it might steal your lunch money if you're not careful. American companies face a unique set of challenges in the Middle Kingdom. First up, the language barrier. Sure, you can find English speakers in big cities, but venture out and you'll need a translator just to order a coffee. The language barrier is just the tip of the iceberg. Even in business settings, nuances in language can lead to misunderstandings. A simple miscommunication can derail a deal or create unnecessary friction. Then there's the culture shock. China has a rich history and a unique way of doing things. What flies in the US might flop in China. Understanding Chinese customs and traditions is crucial. For instance, the concept of face or maintaining one's dignity and respect is deeply ingrained in Chinese culture. 
Missteps here can lead to strained relationships. Business practices in China can be vastly different. Negotiations might take longer and building trust is essential. It's not just about the bottom line, it's about building long-term relationships. But the biggest hurdle, government regulations. China's government plays a much bigger role in the economy than we're used to. They can make or break your business with the stroke of a pen. Navigating these regulations requires local expertise. Many American companies partner with local firms to better understand and comply with the myriad of rules and regulations. Add in intellectual property concerns and a complex legal system, and it's no wonder some American companies are hesitant to take the plunge. And lengthy. Despite these challenges, the potential rewards are immense. China is a massive market with a growing middle class. For those who can navigate the maze, the opportunities are vast. In conclusion, while the challenges are significant with the right strategy, local partnerships, and a deep understanding of the market, American companies can find success in China. It's a journey filled with obstacles, but the potential for growth and expansion makes it a worthwhile endeavor. So for American companies eyeing the Chinese market, preparation, patience, and perseverance are key. The Great Wall of Business may be daunting, but with the right approach, it can be scaled. Tech titans of the East China's digital dominance. Remember when America was the undisputed king of tech? We had Apple, Google, Facebook, the whole shebang. Well, China's coming for the crown, and they've got a few tricks up their sleeve. China's tech scene is like Silicon Valley on steroids. They've got their own versions of everything we have, and they're often bigger and better. WeChat, for example, is like WhatsApp, Facebook, and Venmo all rolled into one. And don't even get me started on their facial recognition technology. They're also investing heavily in artificial intelligence, 5G networks, and quantum computing. They're not just catching up. They're aiming to overtake us in the race for technological dominance. This has huge implications for everything from national security to the future of innovation. Adapting to thrive success stories from the front lines. It's not all doom and gloom, folks. While some American companies are struggling to adapt to the new reality of China, others are thriving. How? By being smart, flexible, and maybe a little bit lucky. Take Starbucks, for example. They've cracked the code in China by embracing local tastes and customs. They offer green tea lattes, mooncakes during mid-autumn festival, and even have a WeChat mini program for ordering ahead. Then there's Tesla. Elon Musk's electric car company has built a massive factory in Shanghai, giving them a foothold in the world's largest car market. The key. Playing by China's rules and partnering with local companies. These success stories show that it's possible to win in China, but it requires a different playbook. He owns Digital March reshaping global finance. China's not just shaking up the tech world, they're also taking aim at the global financial system with their new digital currency, the ACNI. This isn't just some techie experiment. It's a potential game changer. Imagine a world where you can send money internationally without fees instantly. That's the promise of the ACNI. It could also reduce China's reliance on the US dollar, potentially weakening America's grip on global finance. It's still early days, but the ACNI has the potential to disrupt everything from international trade to how we use money in our daily lives. The US can't afford to ignore this development. It's time to up our game in the digital currency arena or risk being left behind. Adapt or fade. A defining moment for US business. Here's the bottom line. China's rise is a reality, and it's not going away. The question is, how will America respond? Will we bury our heads in the sand and pretend it's not happening? Or will we rise to the challenge and adapt to this new world order? The answer is clear. Adapt or fade. American businesses need to get real about the challenges and opportunities presented by China. We need to be more innovative, more competitive, and more willing to embrace new ideas. This isn't about surrendering to China. It's about ensuring America's continued economic prosperity. It's about creating jobs, fostering innovation, and securing our place in the global economy of the future. Thanks for watching and we'd love to hear your thoughts on the future of US business in China in the comments below. If you're interested in more insights on global business trends, be sure to check out our related videos and subscribe to our channel for more content. Subscribe to Revo now and join our vibrant community of forward thinkers, change makers, and revolutionaries.